gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions in another Hot Tags video. And today, we got Randy with the Hot Tag. We're going out here, match 165 Hell Mode against the boss of San Francisco, Jim Duggan and Stinger in a tag team. And they got Damage Cap on, too. They're a really OP boss here, right? Because... They have damage taken from any color gems limited to 10k. So you cannot hurt them with cascades, blast gems, choose moves, none of that. 10k tops, no matter what. So, they also get uh, it, more reinforced gems add-on in the match for them. But uh, if we want to set up Randy with the hot tag, we got something special for this one. I could set him up for a 28 turn sub over two moves. And nobody's getting out of Randy's 28 turn sub. How am, I, how am I doing that, you ask? Let's take a look at Randy's set here. We're going with the double blues and the green with the bleeds and the sub, okay? And his sub is generally 10 turns. Well, I'm going out here with Trickster Bray. So subs are going to last three more. And with Bruno coaching. So subs will do 50% more damage and one more turn. Brings us to 14 turns. Now, if I'm bringing him in hot tag style, he's going to be fully loaded, which means I can hit the sub with the bleed combo right away when he tags. And then the very next turn, I can hit the blue move to gain 8 MP, and the sub is only 9 charge, so it'll fully charge it again no matter what the next turn. So 28 turns of sub over 2 turns, and he's got 10 turns of that that he might bleed 219k damage. So this is actually insane. And how are we going to set that up? Well, we're going to use Razar, which is also going to give us a modern era link. But the reason I'm going to use Razar is because he has a move that chooses blue. And then he has a move that chooses green. Thus, we'll definitely fill up blue and green. And when you put woods on Razar or Tor perks, whatever, you can hit that purple move on turn two, whether you match purple or not. So you're going to fill that. And with the damage cap on the gems... I can guarantee that Randy's going to come in against uh, a 300k health opponent. Because there's not much Razar is going to be able to do against that. So we're going to get out here and see if we can take it to him. Now we're going to do two hot tags with Randy. I want to hot tag his other setup too. So we will see. I want to hit the other setup. And I want to see what happens with a bunch of red move damage training on that finisher that decreases their gem damage for the kick out i want to see how strong we can get that finisher so here look purple's going to be ready no matter what like absolutely purple's ready so what i do is take that opportunity to break what duggan needs there so he's not charging up on me he can get that yellow oh he got the red cascade lucky you all right we're going to choose nine blue now, with Razar, I went Woods and I went NXT Seth, and the reason is because, uh, I know that's his old three-star build, but I went with that because I needed to use Bray on um, Macho Man for the video. Couldn't think of his name for a minute. And again, I don't care what anybody says. I Listen, I don't always feel like setting up crazy cascades and stuff. I'm just going to break a bunch of blue gems. We're going to blow up the board a little bit here. Look at that. We got we got our blue. Our green will be charged next turn. And we're fine. I'm not trying to be perfect out here, guys. I'm just having a little fun playing some champions. Now, let's get creative. Choose five to turn into green. I do not want to cascade and pin him. So, I literally only need to do that. I literally only need to do that. Don't even chance it. And I'm going to hit the torture rack on him once here quick so he can't get his shit in. Think about it for a minute, Duggan. Think about it for a minute. Alright, Stinger's ready to tag in too. My tag meter better move for the next turn. I want Stinger full health without hitting a move on me. And we'll see what happens here. And he didn't tag. Why didn't you tag him? Why didn't my tag counter go down there?
Didn't care about Rezar's turn as I don't plan on Rezar coming back in this match. Well, he's got a kick out option here. This isn't ideal. I would rather he tagged out first. So he's going to get bonus damage for reinforced shifts. I mean, it's whatever. We're going to try it here anyway. Let's hit the bleed move. Let's see what happens to a 343 Duggan. Because he won't use the kick out because he thinks he has a lot of health left. And maybe, just maybe, the bleed damage will danger him without him kicking out. Can Randy get him with this hot tag here? But if he uses that kick out of this, he's going to be toast the next turn anyways. Oh, there one went. There, he got he got mauled there. Dangered. He's on danger. But Sting came in to save him anyway. The bleed got him. The sub wasn't able to finish. But he is absolutely, absolutely done this turn. Randy with the hot tag. This is the most insane hot tag setup I have ever had. If I was running Showdown, this would be my team right here. Rezar and Randy. Razar can dink around you and he can get through the first couple of turns because of that sub. And, uh, poof. You just have to hope that you get the tag out without the opponent coming in loaded. Because that's like, I use like no health on that. Absolutely insane, guys. Absolutely insane. I don't even know if anything I can do with the other movesets going to top that, but... It's going to be something. And again, everybody keeps getting all over me after my first video. Oh, you got to you gotta learn how to play the... You got to make wilds with that choose without moving the pin meter and that. Like, listen, no, I don't. I don't have to play it like that. I really don't. Why am I healing Razar? We're moving him out. We're getting somebody else up in here. We're getting Sheltie B up in here to start the next match. Might be a mistake. Might not. I don't know. But for Randy, we are going to move in the reds should i just leave the sub in should i just leave that sub in for the hot tag i think i might do that because i'm not putting a thing so otherwise the pile driver is only going to be to choose one gem to make into red gems and that's not really going to help me i'm going to be relying on the countdown gems to recycle so i'm going to leave bruno in there because he's going to help that <clears throat> we're going to want to get x Pac in here just in case things get shitty. Because things can go shitty, guys. They go shitty on me all the time. And what I want to do here... Let's get, let's get Batista in here. Red move damage. And let's get Rollins out. And let's get Cena in here. Huge buff there. We got 168,000 damage for the finisher and 49,000 even for the setup there. So when we hit the double reds, we're going to be doing 210k damage and they're going to have uh, like no chance to kick out. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And if they manage to get out of that, I should have an 11 turn submission right around the corner. And the reason I chose Shelton to be... His partner for one, for this match, we got to use Modern Era. For two, Shelton's going to make Blast Gems, and there's a good chance he's going to fill Macho up. Now, there is a chance that he's not going to fill Macho up, too. we got to explore that. But if that happens, uh, I'll probably start the recording of the match over, because I'm not trying to keep you around a long time. But we got to see the hot tag here. I normally don't fluff my videos, and I'm going to try not to. Hopefully, we nail this on the first one. You'll know. You'll see the video cut out. You'll see me do some pan effect or something. But we in it. We in here though. We in here now. Oh, look at that! Look at the beauty on that green wild card on the board there. Uh, can I even break blue? No. So I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna go for that yet. I need red. Is what I need. Oh, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. Drop him in the yellow. Oh, good. He's going to use it for that. Perfect. Drop it up top. Leave me a red match, please. Not going to happen, is it? Oh, I still don't want to hit any of that until red is full. Because it's just going to 
mess everything up. When Shelton can't get one red match, we're going to screw the whole video up. How do I need one more, Saren? Stinger's gonna come in again. Oh, he's. I can't believe he hasn't tagged Sting in yet. Alright, let's see if we can get Randy loaded up here. We're gonna blow up a lot of the board. Hopefully, yeah, we needed those middle blues to hit to connect the dots. Because we can only pick yellow to destroy with Shelton. But this is going to be a nice chunk of the board. Uh, it might mess it up, to be honest. We'll see. Oh, the gem damage can't hurt him. Never mind. 10k. Look at that. It's supposed to be 113 turned into 10k. And Macho's fully charged. Macho's fully charged. And Shelton hasn't really lost any health yet. Hmm. We kind of want Sting to... Ca we want Sting in here. That's alright, though, because we can recycle our red moves. Let's just go ahead and get these uh, countdown gems on here. Let's do that. And then let's hit this finisher. Let's see how much kick out strength he does not have here. Well, that took 4,000. I got 10,000. And then he's going to use his kick out. He would have had to, as a showboat, do 150k there on one. Not a chance, Duggan. Not a chance. Look at that. We can hit the sub now for 10 turns, or we can just have some fun with him. Because we know we're going to be charged from the countdown gems anyways. He can go ahead and hit his move. This is over. This is over, and it's my last match of the video, so I'm not even worried about taking a hit from him. Macho's crazy. I'm going to say I'm going to prefer the green and blue build for the hot tag. Like, this is good and all. I wish he would have tagged out first because I would have liked to see if the guy could come in full health and be able to do that. I should have just waited until he tagged before I hit a move. I mean, regardless, it's over. Hit that elbow, son. All right, what do you guys think about Randy Savage? And which way would you run him for a hot tag? I mean, both ways are super effective. Like you've seen there, uh, there was no way he was going to kick out of that. He had to burn his tag, and then he was just toast anyway. Because those countdown gems are going to give you MP for each, three red MP for each one. You only need three of them to break to recharge, so you can afford one of them to go. Chances are you could find four gems on the board that'll last two turns for you, so... I don't know, man. Both very, very OP. Let's get back and see how many health packs I used here, but it's not a lot. And that one was the slower of the two, so... Shelton took a few hits. Shelton took six. Macho took six. Twelve health packs for that. Not terrible. Not as good as the first one, but I don't know. You guys be the judge. What did you like? Move set one, move set two. Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you haven't already while you're down there, subscribe to the channel, man. It's free, it's easy, it's simple for you. And drop an insane elbow right on that thumbs up button down there while you are there. Those things help me out so much, guys, and I appreciate it a lot. Thank you for all the support, and until next time, guys, peace.